love with Pat's Two Cents. It looks like we are dealing with the word corruptors. Wow. You know, a lot of us don't realize when we're going through life that we are like fruit in a basket. You get one rotten piece of fruit, and I mean it's all mushed and moldy and nasty, and you set it next to a good piece of fruit, even though that fruit is good, that mold is going to transfer and contaminate. And it's going to help the other one rotten, get rotten just like it is. That's what we do in life. We corrupt everything we touch when we live a life of corruption. We infect. We contaminate. Mm. Doing things for gain. Doing things for power. Doing underhanded. Uh, oh. You know, God does not smile on corruption. And we see corruption from the top to the bottom. Yeah. We already know the elite. We already know with the government. We already know with politicians. All the powers that be in this country. Most of it is corrupt. All right? If not all, most of it is corrupt. Now, you look at uh, a lot of people who live in, I call them the wild bunch. They either live in a trailer park or they live in, I'm not talking about all, I'm saying some. Or they live in a poor neighborhood, a ghetto. Whether it's a black ghetto, a Spanish ghetto, an Italian ghetto, a Jewish ghetto, 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 whatever. And you end up with crimes that make no sense. Now this is what gets me about a lot of you who like to corrupt others. Why is it when you are about to do something illegal, you always want to get a bunch of people to join in on your nonsense? Go do your thing and leave them alone. Why must they go with you? You chicken? You bad enough to do the crime? Deal with it, baby. You don't need all your entourage to be with you. You go handle your own dirt by yourself. Why is it when an, uh, an alcoholic is drinking and they're with a person who is who is on the, the wagon, so to speak. They quit drinking. What is it about the alcoholic that wants to tempt the person who has quit drinking to drink? Come on, drink with me. You know I don't like to drink alone. Fill that glass up and do your thing and leave them alone. If you don't like to do it alone, don't do it at all. How about that? Quit trying to corrupt someone else's way. What is it about you men? You get with a chick and you go out and eat and you do whatever you're going to do for the date. And you must try to seduce. You just must give it a shot. See how far you can go. When the woman made it plain before the date ever began that she is a celibate woman. But no... No, 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 you got to see how much power you can usurp over this one. Hmm, I bet you I can. Come on now, leave her the heck alone. And you women, you see a man with his wife, and you giving him the eye and showing ten tons and five or ten inches of cleavage. Nipples all hard and showing. Everything puffed up, about to spill out of your blouse. And you waiting to see if you can get his attention enough to get him to cheat on his woman. So you can say, mm -hmm. I got it like that, baby. Leave him alone. We corrupt. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a thing of pride. Does it feed your pride? Is it about money? What is it? Power? Huh? 
dominance, control. What is it? Well, let me tell you what God says about corruptors. Isaiah 1 verse 4, and I'm ending with this verse. Oh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Yeah, you think you're moving forward. You think you're getting over. You think you're climbing that mountain, but baby, you're getting lower and lower and lower in the eyes of God. You're not moving up. You're moving up in the eyes of man because man judges the outward appearance, but God judges the heart. And when he sees your heart, he sees you going lower and lower and lower into your own pit. How low must you go? How, how many times must you men date in your woman? How many times must you try to get over on their daughter too? Why? You're that horny you can't get enough. You got five, you got two hands and five fingers on each hand. Work those fingers, baby. Leave those kids alone. I'm getting ready to get heated. So I'm going to stop right here. Turn to the Lord while he may be found. Please. Before you corrupt another one.